What's happening? Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris. I'm Pete. And today we are going to check out the Dogfish Head 120 Minute IPA. Oh. And uh, because how we like to do it, for comparison purposes, we have the 2008 right here and a fresh 2011. So we'll get to see uh, the difference of about maybe roughly four years, depending upon. Yeah, well, it's late in 2008, so it's okay. about so three years. Maybe about three years. Okay. I had to kill a, a family in Albuquerque for that bottle of 2008. Yeah. Very difficult to get. Right. But it was worth it. Well, it better be worth it. Okay. So how does the 120 differ from, say, the other, the 60 and the 90 minute that Dogfish does? Well, most people are familiar with the 60 and the 90. The 60 is, is a 6% alcohol beer, and it's hopped for 60 minutes, thus the name 60. Um, it's a little bit more of a kind of a, a, a drier, bitter, hoppy beer. It's, but it's got half the hops of the 120. Or I mean, the bitterness units of the 120. So um, it's 60 minutes of continuous hop. The 90 minute is a little bit more balanced. Um, 90 minutes of hopping and 9% alcohol. The 120 back in 2008 was a 18% alcohol beer, hop for 120 minutes. They've, they've found some problems. Um, the yeast would die um, because of the high sugars and heat that they had to use. Um, in 2009 and 2010, they had to basically scrap the batches of 120. And that um, was all a lot of the stuff from like the, uh, the Brewmaster show that yeah. a lot of people have seen where they're just like, oh, we're going to toss the whole thing and like suck up a million dollars or whatever yeah. it was that it cost. Yeah, exactly. In 2011, they decided, Sam decided to tone it down to 15% alcohol, which I guess is a little bit more stable. There were two batches of this. This is from the second batch that just came out about six weeks ago. So right. it's fresh, fresh, fresh. So we should probably just get into it. All right. All right. So for comparison purposes here in um, the nice glassware here, what kind is this? The glassware? The, yeah, this starts with an S, right? Yeah, it's some German name, yeah. Sting, Sturgeberg, Bremen, Yeah, I can never pronounce it. Anyway, that's going to be our uh, 2008 here, and in our other random tool of glasses here, we have the 2011. Um, so, the main difference, I guess, is there's a little, for what you might call head retention, the 2011 has a slight, like, dusting of a head, if anything, and... Pretty much nothing. Yeah, the 2008 really, yeah, has nothing. Um, I think the 2008, from what I can tell here, is uh, a little bit like a little bit more hazy. The uh, the 2011 here seems to be. It's not crystal clear. There's a little. There's a slight bit of haze, I think, but there's definitely, I think, a little bit more haze. Um, in and the, the 2008. And the 2008 has definitely a more, a kind of a more darker amber color. Yeah. And a little bit less bubbles coming up from the bottom than the 2011. Yeah. Alright, so let's start off with the nose for 2008. Mm-hmm. Definitely still alcohol present. Uh, yes, there, <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is. It almost has kind of a port. Yeah, there's a little bit of a port. There's like a there's a sweetness in there, like a caramel kind of toffee tone. It smells good, but it definitely oh, like a little touch of cit something citrus, maybe. It definitely can smell the alcohol. Yeah, yeah, it does have that port kind of kind of nose. All right. Yeah, market, <laughs> markedly different. I can't smell the alcohol in this at no, all. No, I can't smell the alcohol, and it has like. It, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. It smells like turkey. <laughs> it, it has kind of a funkiness to it. Like, kind like, of a, like an earthy, have, earthy saison kind of. It smells like leftover turkey. Like when you're eating cold turkey after Thanksgiving. You did wash these glasses, I'm assuming. Yes. <laughs> you weren't, eating, turkey you weren't eating turkey out of these, were you? Completely different. Yeah. Can, can I, I, I really have to, it's not the glass. Wow. 
I think you're getting, there's a little more hot profile in that, but this one just sort of, all in all, kind of strange. Well, I've had one of these already, um, yeah. and I, I, I know that they don't taste like turkey, but... All right, so I guess we should just get into it. Yep. Right. Cheers. Cheers. You know it's a 21% or 18% beer. Yep. It's got a nice little caramely taste to it. Yep. Definitely has a, you know, there's almost like that syrup kind of maple sugar kind of component, just that it's like it's rich it's the, like this like the, the syrupiness of it I was expecting it, it to be less sweet than it is from aging for three plus years but yeah. no but that's still still plenty sweet yeah plenty alcoholic but you know it definitely does have that where the sweetness is in there I think it's uh that's a really nice tasting beer but this is definitely one you can put away for years upon years, so. Well, I've got a 2006, yeah. so maybe we'll go 10 <laughs> years on that one. It's nice yeah. drinking. I mean, it, it's it's kind of one of those you have to drink it with kind of heavy meal, probably, yeah. and just have, you know, I mean. You'd, you'd probably just still want to split. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know if I'd want to have one by myself. Yeah. That's excellent, though. It really yep. is. Yeah, primarily it's just that, got that nice warming. Yep. That warming. Yeah. You know, the carbonation still, you know, good. It's almost, you know, it's kind of soft almost in the palate, but it's real nice. Yeah. All right. So let's see what we got here on the fresh 2011. Cheers. I'm not detecting the turkey flavor, but it's definitely yeah. got. It's got a lot more bitterness to it. I mean, a little bit yep. more of a kick to it. It's not as kind of balanced as that one. And it definitely leaves something on the tongue afterwards. Yeah. It still has... It's like the malt's almost a little richer still in this one. It hasn't completely broken down to more of the toffee caramel complexity. But... Yeah, like that, that alcohol presence is, is definitely there. And yeah, it's still still a thoroughly enjoyable beer. Oh yeah, it's 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 pretty incredible. I mean again, you can't drink one of these really, just you know, sit down and bang one down by yourself. I mean it's a it's a serious beer. Well worth tracking down yeah. and getting some. But I like the Again, similar to the Immort, where we found the older beer, the mm -hmm. aged beer was a little bit more balanced and nicer. Yeah. I, I definitely like the 2008 more than the fresh stuff. Yeah, I was just going to ask what you were preferring, because I'm definitely going the 2008 route on this. I think it's starting to round out, um, I think, the, the toffee sort of caramel complexity in this one helps balance out that sweetness on it. Yeah. So, well, it's interesting, you know, people, people generally don't even understand or know that, that you can age beer. Yeah. They think that's Especially an IPA. An IPA is like the furthest thing off the mark from something you generally want to age. Yeah. Yeah. But in this case, again, aging definitely improves it. Yeah. And this definitely has a little more bite on the tongue as far as like the carbonation and all that. And it's, you know, super oily, definitely coating my mouth, like, the whole way, so. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we got more to drink. All right, so, I guess with that said, we're going to keep enjoying this. Hope you're enjoying something as well, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.